the person who called from India, I remember now, and he said that the wit, the Imam prays in a particular way which is similar to the Maghrib. And this is exactly what the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbade. And he said, do not pray wit similar to the format of Maghrib prayer. So if the Imam is praying, otherwise follow the Imam. If you're praying by yourself at home, then pray the three rakahs all together, one tashahud and one taslim, or two rakahs, one tashahud, taslim, then one rakah by itself. Our most beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu have offered them both this way. Why did I say follow the imam? We're talking about witr, which is emphatic sunnah. It is not compulsory. We're talking about different formats where Imam Abu Hanifa adopted a particular view. May Allah the Almighty be pleased with him. So if the Imam is following this way, and I have one of two choices, either to leave uh, the masjid and not to pray with through with the Imam, and in this case I will miss the following reward. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, من صلى مع إمامه حتى ينصرف كتب له قيام ليلة. Whoever attends the night prayer with the Imam, like the Tarawih, until the Imam finishes, the Almighty Allah will record and write down this prayer for him with the Imam as if he has been praying throughout the whole night, قيام ليلة, for the entire night. So do not miss out this word. And I hope and I pray that the Imams make a little bit of an effort to learn. Many Imams in the local Masajid, they think because, you know, the community are literally uneducated in the deen, so I know more than them. And they satisfy with what they have studied decades ago. And they say, this is it, this is my madhab. That is not befitting brothers and sisters. The other day I was given a ta'aleem in the masjid and I quoted some of the fabricated ahadith and weak ahadith pertaining to Ramadan and I said it's unfortunately very common. Next day there was another person and that is his job. He was given the ta'aleem and he quoted that uh, no hadith and uh, as if it is a hadith which means some people don't want to make any effort. In the past, in order to obtain knowledge, it would require you to buy a lot of books and you have a huge bookcase. I have huge bookcases because that was the only way to learn, to read. But nowadays, you can carry it on your soft, uh, in a soft copy, on your computer, laptop, desktop, uh, your tab, uh, your phone. You can search it online. It's very simple. 10-15 minutes before you give the ta'aleem, before you lead the prayer, you learn, you know. Because you have been entrusted by Allah to look after the community whom you're leading. 